when you get behind closed doors and you talk to people behind closed doors, either people who have been uh, school owners that have owned large schools, which I've talked to a few who have been very prominent in the industry, who have been candid enough to share their experiences with me, or people that have worked in those studios, what you find is, or people who have been on the boards of directors for you know, uh, large consulting companies and billing companies, which, you know, are almost a thing in the past now, but still exist. What you find is, is that people that have those large studios, their profit margins are razor thin. Many times, um, some of the studio owners who have uh, turned into consultants in the industry who boasted and bragged about having extremely large studios, um, they only built those studios and built them up to large numbers and got large square footage studios cause, so they could show them off and use that as sort of a uh, platform, you know, a jumping off point, if you will, a way of increasing their uh, perceived authority in the industry so they could sell consulting and, and billing services. Uh,